Hey, welcome to Girl Talk. We are filming here at the fabulous Bella Domicile, and we're going to talk about all kinds of things today. We're going to talk a little bit about diet. We're going to talk about spring finally being here, and later we've got a treat for you, actually. We're going to travel to a home that Bella Domicile and the experts have remodeled one of the kitchens. It's going to be a fabulous treat. We'll get to that later. But after you're done with your remodel, what do you need to do? You start thinking decor. So, perfect segue. We've got Doug Zander joining us from Zander's Design Studio, and we're so excited to have you. Welcome. Thank you. So, I have a lot of questions for you. Okay. But first, let's start with some basics. What, in your opinion, why would you hire an interior designer? What are the main things? Um, I think a lot of it, it, it gets down to, uh, you know, everything is getting to be very costly now when you're purchasing items. And so, you know, making mistakes um, can be can be not the best way of going about it. So, usually, a designer has the ability to help you assess your needs, uh, take a look at your spaces, um, scale furniture out, and kind of find out just what your needs are. Uh, and that's generally it, it's kind of a good base to start with. Absolutely, that's interesting to think that you think, oh, it's going to cost money, but you're right when you aren't sure and you're kind of experimenting, that can cost money too. Right. Better do it right the first time. <laughs> yeah. Mistakes yes. can be more costly, yeah. certainly. Right. So of Definitely. all the places that you can find furniture nowadays, why buy furniture from a designer? Um, well, you know, buying online, um, as we all do, a, a variety of things, it's a little different when you are then responsible for not only making the purchase, which usually ends up being an upfront cost, uh, you have to take a, a, a delivery of it, so you have to make arrangements to have it, whether it's delivered to your home and having someone there to help execute the delivery. Yeah, which is um, such a pain. And then, and then if there's issues with it. Correct. Um, yeah. So that's often is uh, something that a designer has the ability to not only, we usually work with clients or that are concerned about having it kind of taken care of correctly right from the get-go. So. Uh, scale of furniture purchasing out, you know how it's going to sit, you can kind of relay that to the client, uh, the fabrics that, that go onto it or the finishes of the furniture, and then the inspection of it, which is all done by us before it's even delivered. So you kind of lose that whole gray area of not knowing until it shows up whether you're going to like it or not. Sure, I hate that sticker too, assembly required. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and, absolutely. And, and a lot of times you don't find it until it arrives. <laughs> You start scrambling with all the pieces, hoping right. it's all there. Right. No, thank you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we've all been uh, in the situation where we were looking at a magazine and we're like, that's really cool. I would like that. But then you start looking into it and you're like, okay, I need paint, I need drapes, I need flooring. And then I get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So, but I imagine that that's probably a delight to a designer. Is that? Yeah, I think that's, I mean, it's, we love to have people bring in. Um, concepts of things that they like uh, and then hopefully we can you know take an assessment of how they're going to use the space how it's going to affect their family and then be able to kind of give them a look that they like but actually you know we may tweak it so it ends up being maybe a little bit uh, uh, of a better usage of it um, and, and with so often is the fabrics you know how it wears how you're using it has an effect on how, how, how you want to uh, make that selection it makes a big difference. I didn't think about that. Right. Yeah. I suppose for furnishings, you know, Yeah, right? it makes a big difference. And I'm interested too because everybody's got as they're sort of designing their space whether they're moving into a new place or doing a redesign. Mm -hmm. We've all got our own little personal items that we want to keep. So mm -hmm. how, what do you do to kind of bring those things in as we're bringing in all the new? Well, I think that's what's important that gives you the the look in the end that's your look and not a designer look. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're really about taking a look at, you know, the things that are the most important to you, whether it's a piece that you inherited from your grandmother or it's, you know, a wedding gift or whatever it might be that really means something to you. And there's always ways of incorporating it. It's just it's always nice to know that in advance. So as you're looking at purchasing new things, that's something that you keep in mind that you're going to you know, work with and, and, and place it correctly. I love Absolutely. that. Yeah. I love that idea of keeping it personal and not just a designer look. Right. I mean, otherwise it looks like it's something in a magazine or you went to, you know, a local store and just bought a room. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and now that is so, in this day and age, that's so not done. I'm sure there are many techniques that you incorporate to make it a designer look, but also bring it closer to home. Definitely, which is great. definitely. And that's again the reason why I think most designers uh, have the, it's, it's an asset mm -hmm. to have one involved. And you really need to find, yeah, what works with your own personal style, but then we, we really get the opportunity to get your expertise in that combination at kind of a meeting of minds to find what's right for the right person. Definitely. 
Definitely. The perfect trifecta of function, style, and I suppose their budget. Yep. Right? Budget always. <laughs> well, Doug, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. We thank could, you. of course, talk to you longer, but we got to go and okay. we appreciate it. And uh, we'll have to have you back. So thank thanks you very so much. much. And thanks. stick around because we'll be back with more Girl Talk here at Belladoma Isle. We'll talk, we're talking diet and you'll find out more after this.